Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the farmhouse. Welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. It is a Monday morning and we are getting things done. We go away. We are going camping in about a week. So I am working on cleaning up the camper and getting it ready to go. So I'm going out right now to change the sheets on the beds and then I forget what else I have to do. I have to do some cleaning, but always an adventure. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. So this is the inside of our camper. I have done a complete tour of our camper. I guess it's been about a year. Sorry, it's dark, I have to turn the light on. Hold on. Here we go. So this is the kids' room. This is, I need to uh, change their sheets in here. But this is the whole reason we bought the camper. I will put a link to the camper tour below for you if you wanna check it out. But let's get changing these sheets so I can move on to the next thing today. Caterpillar update. So I have one, let's go this side. All right, Caterpillar update. I got one chrysalis that is starting to turn black, which means the butterfly will come out probably within the next day. I have not seen any eggs hatch or any baby caterpillars yet. And the other four chrysalises are looking great. Guys, Jamie said that he was out here earlier and he saw some cucumbers. So I'm going to go cut some cucumbers before they get too big. We already have a lot of cucumbers and we have leftover pickles that we made last year and the year before. So I think I am going to make some cucumber chips with these cucumbers. So I'll show you guys that process as well. Here's the cucumber vine for you if you haven't seen it yet and you know they're buried in here. So I'm gonna put you guys down and let's see how many I can find. Well, there's one right here, but that one's too small. Oh, there's one. Of course, they put you in the wrong spot. Let's see. You guys see that one? Look at the pretty light on that. All right, I'm gonna cut that one. Oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> and that one. All right, let's see if I can do this and film. There's one right there, but we'll let that one go another day or so. Let's see. Oh, I see another one over there. Do you guys see it? There's actually two right there. We will cut the bigger one and save the smaller one for later. There's another baby. Can you see that one? All right, three cucumbers to add to, I think like the six or seven I have inside. So I'm definitely gonna turn these into cucumber chips. I will probably do that tonight so that they will run in the dehydrator overnight and then they'll be ready in the morning.
We're gonna turn these cucumbers into some cucumber chips. So I have my yeah. mandolin and helper. And helper. And I have a bowl. So I set this mandolin at an eighth of an inch. We're gonna test a couple, see if it's thin enough. If they're not, we will lower it down. Cut the end off. And let's do a few. Oh, cool. I think an eighth might be too thick. So let's turn this down a little bit. Let's try. We are gonna put these in the dehydrator. So I do want them to be pretty uniform and pretty thin. Um, we're down a little more. I can't really tell you the exact because it stops after a certain point. <laughs> you do a lot. That should work. All right, so we're going to slice them up and throw them in our bowl. Yeah, can I do that? Tip, when you're using your mandolin, even though you are, everything is the same size, it does seem, it does kind of go at an angle. So just make sure you're turning your vegetable to go the other way. Whoa! Oh, that's a lot. Hunter almost dropped them on the floor. All right, we're going to put all of these in our bowl. Yeah, that's a lot. This is a lot. And we're going to do another one. All right, we have three cucumbers here, and I'm gonna go get a little bit of vinegar. We're gonna toss them with a little bit of vinegar. If you want an exact recipe, head on over to our website, hummingbird-acres.com for the whole recipe. All right, so I'm gonna toss these for a little bit, and I'm gonna let them kind of sit and marinate for a little bit before I put them on our dehydrating trays. Cucumbers have been sitting for a little bit, so we are going to line them on our dehydrating trays. We have an Excalibur nine tray dehydrator. I'm gonna lay these out individually, close together, but not touching. Before I put this in the dehydrator, I'm gonna just sprinkle some salt over them. Okay, then I'm gonna put this in the dehydrator. all of the cucumbers are in. Didn't feel the whole dehydrator, but we're gonna work on that for now. All right, I'm gonna put this at, let's see, I'm gonna do 135 degrees. Oh, I did really good. And time, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with 10 hours. Oh, wait, we're gonna do 11 hours because that's what it did. Um, at 10 hours, I'll start to check it. We are gonna do this overnight. So I will just check it in the morning. And if it needs more time, I will add more time. Oh, and I need to add the cover. All right, cover on, hit start, and we will check it in about 10 hours. It is the next morning, guys, and we are gonna check on these cucumber chips. So we're gonna pull them out. Yep, I would say they are dehydrated. Um, and some of the thinner ones are 
sticking, but some of the thicker ones look great. So we will pull all of these off, put them in an airtight container and have these as a snack. If you guys want the full directions on how to do this, head on over to our website. I've linked it below. Thanks so much for hanging out at the farmhouse and we will see you guys soon.